I have always been writing stories after writing other people's stories in advertisement industry and television daily shows for a couple of years. I realized I want to tell my own stories. So I pursued a degree for screen production and Obelisk is my major project wrapping up my degree. Um, right before making Obelisk, uh, I involved in a couple of professional productions, um, including feature films. But basically I learned filmmaking by making Obelisk itself. As you'll never know how deep is the water until you actually dive in it. No, 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 no. I can see how beautiful life used to be. There's something growing in my head. It's like a sprout. It's like a feeling. Why don't we also invite patrols? They must love joining an illegal concert. Uh, you see how disciplined Mel behaves now? Me listen. What did they do to you? I will fix you. Yeah. Hey, there's nowhere to go. Obelisk is an iconic symbol of an authoritarian regime in this bleak dystopian world where everyone is living under conformity and suppression. Canon, a young man who is physically and mentally dominated like everyone else, discovers a harmonica on the beach which set off a chain of events that challenge his life and even the entire fabric of society. In the short film, I want to reflect societal issues and personal struggles, including mine, and encourage conversations about the importance of breaking free from social constraints and embracing one's true self. I consider Andrei Tarkovsky as one of my favorite filmmakers. His works captivate me as they consistently feature peaceful and motionless that consumes a realm of profound unrest and turmoil beneath. His words deeply resonate with me. My directing style can be described as restraining and introspective. There's always a world in my head in a bleak tone with profound desolation. I also believe in this endless despair, there's always a tiny spark of hope emerges in igniting a quiet rebellion and probably will light up the whole darkness. There are still a lot of hints that need to be unraveled in Obelisk. So with a good budget, I think my ideal project would be expanding the Obelisk universe into an anthology style miniseries which is influenced by Tales from the Loop or The Last of Us. The attractive stories of each episode will be told from perspectives from even the supporting characters as they are the protagonists in their own fascinating stories, um, illustrating this unique bleak dystopian world in this cinematic way requires a lot of work and budget. As a first-time filmmaker, I want to be a perfectionist, but I end up being a realist. You know, a film set is usually a time wormhole. Um, there are way too many excellent shots with profound meanings I can film, but clock is ticking. I realize that even I can improve and make all the details perfect, it is still nothing if I can't even finish the project as a whole. My solution is to take a balance the priority is to capture everything required and then I will try to enhance details. But after making Obelisk, I learned that 
being well prepared with a lot of meetings and a lot of rehearsals in pre-production makes the whole shooting more organized and allows me to focus more on artistic approaches. Dehydration, strong wind, harsh light, all these make it tricky to shoot a film by the sea. The most unexpected thing is that the high tides keep coming, letting us retreat several times while filming one shot. The hardest part is that my AD and I both yelled until we lost our voices while shooting a group scene by the sea without a megaphone and hoping for finishing the scene before the tides flood the whole crew away. This is quite funny that the greeting in the short film, made the tide rest, actually becomes an inside joke. Like I said before, there is still a lot to explore in Obelisk universe, and I would love to expand the story into an anthology series. I'm currently writing different journeys in various timelines for multiple characters from the film, and answer the questions like why the Obelisk is there, What's the patrol's real identity? What's the story of Mel? Why the father is so pious? What's going on with the, the ending? And most importantly, hiding more hints for the next season. I will use the current short film and the series screenplay as a hook to pitch my ideas and looking for fundings for the future mini-series.